Hey, and welcome back to VP Focus. Now, in the, in the last episode, I showed you how to install Hugo in Panorama, uh, and in this episode, I will show you how to make a panorama here. So, I just reading uh, my pictures here, and uh, I got 64 of them. Uh, choose these and open up. And here you have, if you have all the details about your objective, you can just uh, print it in. But I just don't know mine, so I go with standard here, default 18 millimeters and uh, 1.5 uh, here, and press OK, and then I'm just gonna align these pictures here. So, and now we will count uh, the key generation points here, uh, picture by picture, uh, to stitch it up together to 64 from 64 pictures to one big panorama uh, so I'm gonna pause this video for a time uh, because it will take about 15 to 20 minutes depends on how powerful your computer is so hang in there hey and uh, now we got our preview window here uh, to see how it went uh, this is the photo I have uh, photoed in Broviken in Sweden, in Norrköping. Uh, as you can see, the photo is um, overexposed here in some areas, but it doesn't matter really, uh, because uh, Hugin got a really good uh, end blend, it's gonna ex blend all the exposures to one big good picture. So, what I'm gonna do is mark the picture I want and now it's doing a automatic cut here and I will agree with it so and I will accept this and go close this with the X button here and go into here and I'm just gonna save it as it is in JPEG I'm going to resize the panorama pixel a little bit to say eight thousand to four thousand, and I click go with it. And now we start to stitching the picture together in one whole complete photo. And this will all also take some time, so I will just pause this for a while. Be back soon. And now you can have uh, stitch and and blend the picture into one picture from 64. So I'm gonna show you the results here and this is what it looks like and I think the results look pretty well and that's how you do a panorama in uh, Hugin so good luck